Lisa, go ahead and grab a Nerf gun. Supervising a bunch of kids probably sounds like a full-time job to some people, but most of these folks are volunteers. Oh, it's totally worth it. Some days are pretty, uh, pretty exhausting, but it's totally worth it at the end because if you put a smile on a kid's face, it just brightens your whole day. Nolan is one of 60 volunteers in the Yakuska Nakigo community, thanks to the Camp Adventure program offered by some colleges. Butter muffins. So basically we're all college students volunteering here to help out um, military bases and make positive impacts on the youth of military children. Most of the volunteers are working towards education degrees and spending time with kids in the child and youth program overseas allows them some experience with a bonus. I really love it. I love traveling and then these kids here, they have so much fun to work with, so I'm actually very interested in working at a DOD school. And it's definitely made me think about where I want to teach in the future. <laughs> oh, jeez. Probably the one thing I'll miss the most is whenever I walk in to work at 9 o'clock, I just see those kids' smiles, and they're just so excited to see me. And that's the one thing that like, I'm going to miss the most, probably here at camp. And then all the staff, too. My staff's been awesome, with CYP staff and Camp A staff. It's time to clean up, my friend. Time to clean up. Another camp adventure member, Erica, previously worked directly with the kids as well, but this year had more of an administrative role, but the meaning to her was the same. One thing we like to say is that we're creating magic moments, and uh, magic is when reality exceeds expectation. That's kind of like the motto we like to live by. <laughs> I have kids who I will remember until the day I die, and um, I hope that they'll remember me too, and I think that's what keeps me going, is hoping to continue to make those memories and special moments all around the world, wherever I go, wherever I get placed, with the people I work with um, and the people I meet along the way. And as their 10-week journey in Japan comes to an end, they'll get right back to class upon returning. It's going to be a little bit of a big transition to jet lag, and it's going to be tough saying goodbye to the kids. But it's totally worth it when I look back over this time and seeing all the positive impacts I made on all of them. Reporting from Yakuska Naval Base, I'm Petty Officer Anthony Martinez.